In this video, we're gonna learn what it takes to create an awesome speed ramp. And what is speed ramping? Have you ever seen a clip where it starts off in normal motion and then it goes right into slow motion very nicely and then it pops back out into normal motion again? That's what speed ramping is. And this is what we're gonna do right here in this video. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and speed ramping is a really cool effect to pull off and something that should be constantly used anytime you use slow motion if you're coming from say normal motion. The key benefit of using speed ramping is that it allows you to transition over nicely to slow motion or fast motion without any abrupt you know, cuts from normal motion straight to fast motion or slow motion, if that makes sense. So in this video, we're gonna use Adobe Premiere to create an awesome speed ramping effect. All right, so here we are in Adobe Premiere, and this is a 60 frames per second clip, and this is a 24 frames per second timeline. So, so we can see we can have some nice potential for some slow motion. And so, I essentially would like the clip to start off in regular motion, and then go to slow motion, nice and smoothly, and then back into normal motion after the wave crashes against the uh, rocks here. So, so with speed ramping, we're gonna have a nice transition. So, what we'll do is we'll right-click our layer. And we're gonna go to something called Show Clip Keyframes. Go to Time Remapping and click on Speed. And if you hover over the middle of your clip, you'll see that there's a line here. And it shows as a percentage if you, you move it up or down. And this will affect the speed of your clip. So now this entire thing is now in slow motion. So we don't want to do that. So what we'll do is we'll grab our pen tool, which is here in the tools bar. And we want to find the point where we want the slow motion to start. So right here, we'll add a point. Just click here. It's a plus symbol. And now you get these arrows here and you can open it up by clicking and dragging and you see now we have two markers here just like this and this is going to be the duration of our transition think of these two markers as a transition so what we'll do here is we'll scrub forward here and we'll figure out where we want the slow motion to end right at that wave crashing right there that's when we want the slow motion to end so what we'll do here is add a, another point with the pen tool and we'll open up the arrows and this will be like our out transition to regular motion. So now what we can do is just grab the selection tool right here at the top and we'll just drag this down to 50% or whatever slow motion percentage you want. So now, so now if we run through our clip, we have our regular motion and now it smoothly goes into slow motion. And now we have all these slow motion details and then we go right back in the normal motion with a nice smooth ramp right there. So think of it as a nice, you know, transition is from one clip to another and if we want to move the markers out to you know increase the ramp all we have to do is grab the selection tool and we can just drag these out by a little bit and now your ramp from normal motion to slow motion is way smoother and this is a really cool way to use the speed ramping technique to help control the slow motion of your shots and kind of pop in and out of normal motion to slow motion really cool if you are a motion graphics artist or if you're into video production, if you're looking to really speed up your workflow and grow your business, check out Envato Elements where you can download unlimited After Effects project files and Premiere project file templates from a library of thousands. Also, Envato Elements allows you to download unlimited graphics for branding like business cards, flyers, and other print material you need to succeed in your business. You can also download thousands of stock video and photos and even website templates. And this is just for $16.50 a month where you can have unlimited access to all the creative elements you need to produce professional projects in a time efficient manner. To learn more, check out our links in the video description. So there is our lesson on speed ramping, a really cool technique and something you should know how to do when you apply slow motion or fast motion. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We post two post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. Hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.